One of the most powerful ways to make sales in the print-on-demand world is through books, specifically low and medium content books like journals, coloring books, and puzzle books. BookBolt is a great software solution that enables writers and artists to quickly create high-quality books to publish on Amazon KDP, which is one of the largest marketplaces in the world. BookBolt also has great niche research tools so you can actually make sales. BookBolt has revamped its look and feel for 2025. If you're new to BookBolt, thinking about getting BookBolt, or if you want to learn more about BookBolt 2.0, then this is the video for you. Let's jump in. Okay, let's go over the main menu features here inside of BookBolt. When you first log in, you may see a screen that looks like this. So what you want to do is click on this little, they call it hamburger menu. It's three horizontal lines on the top left. And when you click on that, the menu will pop open. So you've got some research options. We're going to start with those. First one is product search. When you click outside of that menu, it will disappear and become minimized. So here I'm going to search for a keyword. So my keywords are Florence, Italy. And for my category, I'm going to select journal. And now I'm going to click the search button. Okay, and I'm gonna scroll on down and we can see here, we've got some great ideas that are coming up. Here we can see Italy scrapbook paper, and we've got a BSR. BSR stands for the best seller rating. And so if you've sold something on Amazon, you will get a BSR or a best seller rating. We can see the price point. We can see the total number of sales that they've got so far. There's even things like reviews and the publication date. We can continue to scroll down and we can see all sorts of different items. Here's a great option, Italy Travel Journal, nice simple cover. And we can see here 149 sales at $10.99. Another niche research tool is the keyword search option. So rather than product search, I'm gonna scroll down here and select keyword search. From here, I can type in something and then just simply click search. So I've typed in cat coloring book and I'm going to click search. And this is really nice because down below, we're going to see Amazon keywords that pop up and we can see different search volumes for these keywords. We can see here cursing cat coloring book, cat swearing coloring books. This is a great tool for you to brainstorm different niches. We can see down here weightings assigned to different keywords as well. There's also Google keywords which show up. We can see the competition high, medium. Sometimes you'll see low competition in there as well. Here's another search term. This is Thunder Bay Journal, which is a small town inside of Canada. And we can see here there's different search volumes. When I scroll on down, we'll see these are much smaller because it's much more niche. Google keywords, we can see much lower. However, the competition is lower as well. So we'll see some highs, some mediums, and some lows in there. So this can be a great tool for brainstorming different ideas for keywords for books. All right, next up is movers and shakers. We can see here under the research menu, I'm gonna click on movers and shakers. And we have a couple different options here. We can select a category. So for example, I'm going to go to sketchbook and then we can see the type. I'm going to go to monthly. So do we have any movers and shakers in the world of sketchbook? I'm gonna click search. And we can see here 300 total results. And as I scroll on down, we've got a graphic design logo sketchbook. This is a blank sketchbook, $6.99. 210 estimated sales. Here's another one. This is my first sketchbook for toddlers, blank drawing and scribbling. This is 169 estimated sales. And you can see things in here like the description, which is really helpful because it really speaks to the reasons that people are publishing books on Amazon. And you can tie their descriptions often to the usefulness of the product and their bestseller rating. Let's take a look at evergreens. What are evergreens? Well, when we look under research here and we click on evergreens, we're going to see books that aren't seasonal. These are books that sell over long periods of time consistently. So I'm gonna select a period of three months. And for my category, I'm going to select a puzzle book. Now I can select the average bestseller ranking one all the way down to five million. So I'm gonna move this right up. I wanna see the top one million results, for example. And now I'll click search. And as I scroll on down, we'll see it gives us back the first 300 results. Here's a big 9,000 word search. We can see this is 526 estimated sales. So this can be really nice to get motivated because people really are making hundreds of sales a month. Now, obviously this is at the very top of the search result, but if I go to like page five, for example, we'll see even for $10, 195 estimated sales, there's lots of different niches here. You can look for different logic puzzles, different languages, Spanish word search, for example. 
And here's a math one. This is Sudoku, and this is large print. So ask yourself, are there areas that you can compete in? In this case, large print is something that people are specifically looking for. KDP Categories is a very useful tool inside of BookBolt. I'm going to click on it here on the left-hand side under the menu. And what I really like is you can select a type of book. So, for example, I've typed in Journal, and I'm going to click Search. And what I really like about this is that down below it gives you different relevant categories that you can put your book inside of. Here we can see when I type in coloring book, it gives me back different results, fiction, nonfiction, color, coloring books for grown-ups, animals. This can be a really useful tool for brainstorming, but also to make sure that your coloring book or any book is in the right category so that people can find it. Let's take a look now at BookBolt Studio and actually create a book from scratch. We can see here on the left-hand side under research, we have all these different items, but down below that we're going to see create. And I'm going to go into BookBolt Studio to actually create our book. It will ask you to log in, so just make sure that you log in with your email and your password. Now BookBolt Studio will default to the last project that you have open, but we're going to create a new project here from scratch. So I'm going to go up here to the top left, I'm going to click on project, and I'm going to click on new project. From here, I can select my project type. I can do paperback or hardcover. I'm going to have paperback, cover, and interior. And then I can do a project name. So I'm going to make my own Italy journal, for example. I can get my trim size. And in this case, I'm going to select an eight and a half by 11. My interior paper type is black and white interior with white paper, although I could change that. And I'm going to select my page count. In this case, I'm going to make it a 50 page journal. And I'm going to click create project. From here, I'm going to have my option to have a cover and then individual pages on the left-hand side. I can easily fill up these pages for a journal. What I'm going to do is click on page number one and I'm going to add in a template for a journal. So I'm going to click right here, which is page templates. And it's going to give me a whole bunch of different page templates. And I can see there's one right here for journal. And you'll notice there's three variants. So I'm going to click on journal and I'll have three options now. Narrow journal, college journal, and wide journal. I'm going to do a wide journal and I'm going to click it. Now I get to select how many pages I would like to put that on. You'll see number one is selected, so I'm going to click it. Number two, number three, I'm highlighting each page that I would like my journal to be populated with that journal template. So you could just select all of them, for example, and then just unselect the cover. So now I have all 50 pages selected and I'll continue now to options. So now it's going to ask me for the line width in my journals. So I'm just going to keep it as is. I will change the line color though, and I can do that pretty easily. I just simply select it. I have pre-selected options here at the top. I'm going to select black and I'll click OK. I'm going to leave my top line width the same as is the default. And from here, I'm going to click Submit. And just like that, all 50 pages are now filled with my template. Now I'm going to jump in here to my cover and I'm going to add in an image. Pretty easy to do. First thing I'm going to do is select my shapes option, which is right here at the top. And I'm going to select a rectangle right here. I'll just simply click the shapes menu again to minimize it. And then I'm going to grab my shape and I'm going to just make it the size of my book template. From here, I'm going to add in an image. So I'm going to go click on my file library. Here I've got some files that I've already selected for previous projects, but I'm going to go up here to Pixabay and I'm going to search on Pixabay the word Florence. And from here, I'm going to click on a picture that I like and it will populate it right onto the cover. Now I can make this larger or smaller. I could even rotate it if I want to. I can move this around as I see fit. And now I'm going to add some text. So I'm going to click the little text button here. I'm going to add a heading. I'm going to change my font to white. So right up here at the top where it says edit text, I'm going to click white and I've typed in the word Florence. I'm just going to minimize my menu here and I'm going to move this right up to the top. Of course, you can change the text. You can make it a different font, for example, lots of different free fonts and you can also move it around just like you could a picture. There's lots of different page templates that you can use. You don't have to just use a journal template. There's all sorts of things like music sheets, graph paper, lots of puzzle options and word search options. There's even mazes and helpful to-do lists and organizers. So you can make so many different types of books within minutes using BookBolt. There is a new option inside of BookBolt called the AI Story Generator. So when you're creating a new project, you can click on low content like I have here, or you can click on AI Story Generator. If you click on this, you can create a project down below using the AI Story Generator. 
So here you're gonna get some story parameters, character appearance, content, pages, and then you can add this to project. I'm gonna create another video going over this in more detail, but this is a really cool new feature inside of BookBolt. I'll put a link to BookBolt in the video description below. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link and that just means if you purchase the BookBolt subscription, I would receive a small commission. I love using BookBolt. I've made lots of sales on Amazon using BookBolt and I highly recommend them. There's so much to see and do inside of BookBolt. Here's another video where you can harness the power of BookBolt and make awesome books for sale on sites like Amazon.